Welcome to the After Spin. Opinions from thought leaders in our state. Chris Fitzsimon, the city of Charlotte, proposed an anti-discrimination ordinance to ensure that all are treated respectfully, regardless of their gender and persuasion. But a provision that would allow transgender people to use the bathroom of the sex they feel most comfortable with drew a lot of opposition and was perhaps the primary reason why this ornament was, uh, ordinance was defeated this week. What's your reaction to it? Well, I was disappointed that it, it devolved into what it is. Uh, I mean, w what they said with this vote, in effect, is that the city of Charlotte and people in the city of Charlotte in certain roles can discriminate against people based on their sexual orientation. And it's 2015. Uh, it's absurd that uh, we st it's still true in North Carolina. You can literally be fired for your job tomorrow just because you're gay. You can't be fired because of your race or ethnicity or religion but you, or your gender, but you can be fired because you're gay. Uh, I was disappointed. Charlotte's one of the largest cities in the country that doesn't have a non-discrimination ordinance. Uh, I think this issue will be revisited. A couple of the uh, city council members who actually uh, who voted against it support the discrimination amendments, but when the issues were uh, separated to take the bathroom issue, which is completely blown out of proportion, out of it, uh, they still voted against it because of that. I think this will come back at some point, and some point will be enlightened, and Charlotte will pass it. When cooler heads prevail. Absolutely. Yeah, they, they get rid of the bathroom issue. Well, thank you for watching the Afterspin. More video all during the week on ncspin.com.